This is the Strymon Big Sky, and it's probably one of my favorite reverb pedals ever made. Not only does it sound great for huge, expansive reverbs, but it's also great for your more standard kinds of reverbs like spring, plate, and hall verbs. Another thing that I love about the Big Sky is that you have access to three presets here at any given time. So typically for a set, I'll have my three verbs that I'm gonna use and I don't even have to change the bank. It just makes it super easy to jump between different reverb sounds. You might have noticed that a couple of pots on my Big Sky are messed up, they've been damaged. Um, fortunately for me, they still work as they should. They just, you know, look kind of terrible. This happened about a year and a half ago at CMA Fest in Nashville, Tennessee. I was playing a set at the festival and um, after our set I pulled the pedal board off and then went back on stage to grab the instruments and when I came back to my board it looked like somebody had stepped on it and messed it up. Um, again, fortunately for me it's been working fine and so I haven't repaired it, but I just recently ordered the parts from Strymon. I also ordered some extra foot switches because the foot switches have been a little finicky lately after years of use. So today I'm going to open it up and try to fix it myself and hope I don't mess it up. All right, I finally got the board out of kind of the metal housing of the pedal. It was kind of tough and I'm not gonna show you because it's probably not how you should do it. But whatever the case is, I got it out and I'm ready to go into the next step, which is desoldering the old pot so I can put the new ones in there. All right, so I've got the new pots here. Try to get them installed. The repair up until this point has been kind of tough. Um, it was really hard to get the joints desoldered to get the old pots out and get them cleaned up for the new ones, but I've got the new ones in there and um, hopefully it all works. I'm gonna plug power up to it first to test it out before I put it into the chassis. That LED is working, so that means that pot. So this orange light right here, when I turn this pot, it was originally green, if I can find the sweet spot and show you guys on camera. There it is, it's green right there, and then when I turn this, it changes to orange, which means that pot is working. This pot, the first one doesn't seem to be working, so we gotta figure that out. Hope I didn't mess it up. All right, I just re-soldered the joints on the one pot that wasn't working, and we're gonna see if it works. I'm really hoping I didn't just mess up my big sky. So I've got a green light here. Hopefully when I turn this pot, that light will change colors. Yes, that's the time. So we're seeing the time tracking, which is awesome. Okay, I guess the light doesn't turn. It just reads the, the change in time. And then this one should change colors. Yes, awesome. Whew. All right, really glad that works. All right, so now I just gotta put it back in the chassis and hopefully we should be good to go. 
not sure that I'll ever do that again, but hopefully everything's working as it should be. I went ahead and replaced all three foot switches on this unit and I wanted to show you guys just how easy it is to replace the switches. So from this side, you can see we've got the foot switch here and then it's wired to this little white connector right here. So that connector just plugs and unplugs. When you buy the foot switches from Strymon, it comes pre-wired to that connector. So it's literally just disconnecting the old one, unscrewing the switch and installing the new one and plugging it in. It's super simple um, and literally takes a minute to do. In hindsight, I'm not sure that I would choose to do this repair on my own again. The stress and the anxiety of working on the pedal and then not having things work and just the risk involved just made it super stressful and um, ultimately probably better left up to a professional. Now the foot switches on the other hand, those are a no brainer and I love that Strymon design them in the way that they did so that they literally can be replaced in a matter of minutes with a single tool. Don't do what I did and try to fix something on your own that you're not really experienced with, especially when it comes to something like this. It's a pretty expensive pedal. That's going to do it for this video. As always, thanks for watching. If you dug this video, be sure to check out some of my other stuff. Hit that subscribe button and hit the thumbs up button. All right, until next time, I'll see you out there. Am I supposed to have extra parts?